start our recording now. Sí, bien. Y buenos días. Muy buenos días. Necesito luz. Wow, I need light today. Hmm. Uh, ok. A ver. Y muy buenos días. Espero que ustedes estén bien. I hope you guys are well. Today is uh, kind of a day to, uh, well, since uh, the last session of uh, fall, um, we're going to try to make room for any and all questions you have, uh, a little review of this whole nosotros thing uh, with nosotros commands, which we'll follow up with. That actually, we're going to start with first. Um, a little bit of additional practice with that and um, some odds and ends. I do want to make sure I have plenty of time for you to do your guessing game thing. See? ¿Sí? Bien? Sí. Okay. Uh, mucho tiempo. Lots of time. So a couple little questions. One of the odd questions, and I'm going to include this on the video because uh, um, Nora sent this in and Nora cannot be here today. Her little question on the video on the nacimientos, the uh, video with nacimientos, they talked about Diablo, un Diablo, a devil. I was like, what the heck is that about? Yeah. Okay. Vamos a ver. Es una cosa cultural. So we're going to start with that first because it's es fácil. It's easy to, uh, es fácil explicar. It's easy to explain. One of those little videos I had sent you talked about nacimientos. And nacer means to be born. And when we add miento, or sometimes miento, but usually miento <clears throat> onto something, it turns it from nacer to be born into a thing, a noun. And a nacimiento means like a birth place yeah okay. birth birth okay so but nacimientos at this time of year nacimientos are these things which if you grew up in a christian household would be known as a nativity scene and whereas our word nativity comes from that same latin root as nacimiento they have that narrow little connection but uh, nativity scenes are uh, popularly used in christian households but they are extremely extremely popular in Latin America, uh, um, if, if the family is religious, uh, as part of your Christmas decorations, uh, usually with very uh, traditional abuelitas, with very traditional grandmas. If the grandma rules the house, uh, the nacimiento will be a bigger deal to put up than the tree. But what the heck? Diablo? A devil? What has that got to do with nacimiento? Well, okay. Um, Na, un nacimiento. Uh, the nacimientos are, you know, have the little figurines of Joseph and Mary and the baby Jesus, which you don't put in <laughs> until the 25th. That's like one of the like second to last figures to put in there. You have your little shepherds, you have your little assorted barnyard animals. And then later on, even later than baby Jesus come los reyes magos, the three kings. Okay. So those are generally the type figures, angeles, angels. You know, these are the figures that you populate your little nacimiento, your nativity display that they populate the nacimiento. Okay. But Un diablo, devil, what the, okay. Uh, some people in Latin America do use as one of the little figurines besides Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus and everybody else, uh, an itty bitty, usually very red, very nasty looking devil. And yes, he's off to the side. He is not a central player in the nacimiento, but they may use a diablo and diablo represents in general uh, los pecados, uh, the sins that tempt us, the sins that tempt us to be not so nice at Christmas time, to remember, why are we on this earth to help other people? Have we, it, as a reminder of, have you been tempted? So el diablo, the devil represents temptation, uh, temptation to not do the right thing, the temptation to not 
do good in this world for those around us, those we work with, our family, our friends, uh, that sort of thing. So uh, that is the job of El Diablo, a little mm -hmm. devil. And he is a side figure. <laughs> Obviously <laughs> not. not. And, and actually, uh, unbeknownst to me... I, I have seen these and, you know, then actually it is put off to the side. So it's not something you focus on right away, but there are some um, very interesting poses for Nascimento. Google that sometime. You'll see what I mean. I'm not going to mention it because this is a clean <laughs> family station. <laughs> Sometimes let us say the devil is positioned doing things involving bodily secretion activities, <laughs> which we don't talk about in polite company. I guess to indicate that the devil is not a nice guy. <laughs> Mm. No, he's so there you go, Nora. Yeah. No, oh, thank you. The <laughs> yeah. I did not realize that the devil kind of was doing the squat things in some of those figurines, not all of them. Yeah. Uh, mm. Wow. Okay. Uh, even I get surprised sometimes. Okay. Can you, uh, hear, me? Can you hear me now? Yes. Si. Okay. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> Okay, our second question, our second question that came in was about vamonos ya. Yeah. Okay, this is a, yeah, it's a Duolingo question, verdad, yeah. Uh, I got the nos part, it was the spelling, B-A-M-O-N-O-S. Ah, see, 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 see. Where that came from? There, here, okay, see. Uh, voy a mostrarles. I'm going to show you. Oh, if it will it let me in? We a ver. Where is my cursor? Oh, please, yes. Don't make me. Don't make me have to write with my mouse. Where'd my keyboard go? Momentito. A ver. Oh, let's try the big new whiteboard and see if I can get my act together. Hmm. Wow. All right. A ver. I hope you can see on the new whiteboard. New whiteboard is still kind of a work in progress. Okay. Ah, uh, voy a escribir aquí. Uh, con acentos. I right, try to make this a little bit bigger. Uy, a ver. Ah, qué pasó. Okay, a ver. Uh, can you see the vamanos on the screen? See, yeah. is the whiteboard showing up? Yeah. Yeah. See, okay. Uh. I've had varying reactions on whether everything shows up on this keyboard, and it might be something I am not toggling a correct button when I start it. But vamonos, yeah. Why is that? That is combining vamos, which is the nosotros command, let's go. It's combining it with this word and then the ya mismo. And the ya mismo is just... Right now. Right now. It's, yeah. Okay. Everybody think, ahora, you know, all textbooks tell you that ahora means now, which it does. But when is now is always up for debate. Yeah. So right now might be ahorita, putting ita onto ahora, or it might be ya mismo. Yeah. Mismo means the same, but yeah, the ya mismo is right now. But how do we get from vamos, nos, and to this thing, which is the correct thing, vamonos. And uh, the people who first used to ask me about this were the 15-year-olds or the 14-year-olds even in class who said, we've heard this on Dora the Explorer. Yeah. That is what Dora the Explorer on their kitty videos that they remembered Every kid remembered that, I swear mm -hmm. to you. Okay, here's what happens. 
When we use ir as irse, as in go, take off. Yeah. Uh, like me voy. I'm out of here. Yeah. If you want to say I'm out of here, I'm going, it's me voy. They make that reflexivo. See, me voy. But now when I turn it into a command and I turn it into a we command, it's got to be, you know, ooh, me voy, me voy irse, irse. How do I turn that into a we command? Vamos is always the just let's go. But once I add on a nos, here's what has to happen. When I tag the nos onto the end, this letter S has to go bye-bye. Oh. And it is a phonetic thing. So uh, I'm going to have another screen. I'm going to show you about why that happens. But as you're going to hear me say, if I kept the S on, it would sound like this. Vamos nos, vamos nos. It is, it is harder to say, is all I can tell you. So the way we uncomplicate that and make it easier to physically pronounce with the muscles of your mouth is to cut off the S. Vamonos. Vamonos. Now we don't have the S bleeding into the N. Vamonos. So we cut off the S. That's what's happening there. Does that make that's sense? All. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, that's, all, that's all that's happening. S so it's, it's only in the NOS form. Yes. See, yes. And yes. The rest of them would be the way they're supposed we to We cut off the S. You are so used to, of course you're used to this because it's the pattern. Mos is what we do for nosotros. And all of the, actually all of the we forms in every tense in Spanish are going to have a mos to say we. Okay. Even when you go outside of present tense, it's going to be, there's going to be a most there and it will be amos or emos or emos. Okay. Yeah. Right. The vowel that's attached to the most will vary depending on the kind of verb, right? We've got a verbs, the verbs, I verbs, but with, yeah. Vamos, we have to cut off the S before we tag that nos. So the difficulty is the nos, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Because not all sounds blend into the that N that starts off a little pronoun nos. Not all pronouns blend nicely with that. So let's take a look at how that winds up looking. And this longer thing gave a kind of a longer tutorial, but you may not have seen it because you had to scroll way, 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 way down. <clears throat> when we have, uh, and, and this is also called affirmative commands and pronoun placement. So this was at the tail end of a page actually that I gave you. Yeah. So if you want to say, uh, use a verb like, sentarse mm -hmm. and it's a very common thing for us to say let's sit down let's sit down here that's a really normal thing to say in an average conversation so we've got sentarse because that's a reflexive verb okay so sentamos is what you would usually use but to make it a nosotros command it's going to switch the vowel from amos to emos, so it's sentemos. But now we got this other, the, the we part, the pronoun part that we have to tag on, make it the caboose on the end of the train. So let's sit ourselves down is sentemonos, sentemonos. And we have to get rid of this S right here. Okay, otherwise it is more difficult to pronounce. There's a short answer. So it'll sound like this. Sentémonos aquí. Sentémonos aquí, right? Sentémonos aquí does not flow. <laughs> Sentémonos flows, okay? So just like vámonos instead of vámonos, yeah? <laughs> 
blah, 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 bad for the mouth, okay? Uh, and that hangs true for other things that are not nos, like uh, agamos cela, if we add on a cela, or here they give you the example of vámonos. 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 No. Vámonos. Vámonos. Uh, let's get up early becomes despertémonos. Despertémonos, because despertémonos is too hard with that S at the end of despertémos, yeah? Despertémos is not let's wake up. We need the nos on the end of it, despertémonos, okay? Uh, uh, so that is what happens with uh, nosotros commands. I hope that makes sense. Oh, See? It, do it does. I just... Yeah. I didn't go to the bottom of the page, obviously. That's funny that I was of at the course. same place in Duolingo that we're at. <laughs> and <laughs> and you'll just you'll just hear that, but you know, people uh, uh well, Duolingo especially, you'll hear it, but people will not explain it. So okay. Um, yeah. Let's uh, do a little <laughs> bit of nos practice, the nosotros practice, a little bit of nosotros commands practice. So let's kind of see how that would sound. Uh, let's go back to our whiteboard. You kind of um, Duolingo gives you a, a hint or if you make a mistake, it, it'll tell you, you know, how to do it. Sometimes I noticed <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Duolingo has kind of been, uh, they've had some troublesome changes lately in that they uh, are fond of dinging people. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, you lose your turn after what is it? Three dings or whatever. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, they didn't used to do that, but they do now. So, okay. Let's, vamos a, vamos a, um, okay. Let a uh, empezar. Empezar. Let's start with an easy verb, and it won't be easy with spelling, but it'll be easy. Empezar. You frequently hear, hear this when somebody says, well, let's start. Let's start rather than, oh, it's a fact, we're starting. But you're saying, hey, let's start this now, right? Empezar. Normally, you would use empezamos, right? For a fact, empezamos. But turning it into a command means we use opposite vowel, mm -hmm. right? We keep the most, but opposite vowel. A, our verb is going to have to be an E, E, E. So it becomes what? Empecemos. Empecemos. And you might think, well, I do this, empecemos. But we have a little, little, little bit of a change. It has to happen. And that is, we have to spell it this way. way. Empecemos. It is one of the ones, it gets a spelling change. That's all it is. Yeah. Because I cannot have in Spanish Z with an E after it. That's just, it's just the fact. It's what they do. Okay. So notice the fact that you change the spelling doesn't change the way we pronounce it at all. Even though I switch from a Z to a C, CE is still C. So it's still empecemos. So, you know, it doesn't affect the way you pronounce it. It's oop, It affects a spelling thing. And there will be a number of commands that do that kind of things. Ooh, wait, empecemos. Okay, so empecemos is let's start or let's begin. Uh, um, somebody might say, um, ooh, let's look over at this counter, mirar. Let's look over at, ooh, let's look at these gifts. Let's look at these. Let's look is... Miremos. Miremos. Miremos estos regalos. Miremos esos regalos. Let's take a look at these gifts. Okay. Oh, por ejemplo, uh, if we want to take hornear to bake. Oh, let's bake cookies. Hornamos. Hornamos. 
And yeah, normally you would expect orneamos, but we've got to use opposite vowels. So it's orne. Emos. A double E, which will just drag out. Ornemos. Ornemos las galletas. Let's bake the cookies. Okay. Uh, if we take, this will be slightly harder because our formation is a little different. Poner, let's put up decorations. Poner decoraciones. Poner decoraciones. We have to go to that pongo first. We have to go to the word pongo first till we get to the we. Pongamos. Well, it won't be amos because er is going to swap and do the a, -a, -a sound. Pongamos. 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 Uh, pongamos decoraciones. Uh, bien. Okay. Let's take this new skill we learned with vámonos, with vámonos, and let's apply it to ponerse. Ponerse means to put on. Okay. And we're going to say, oh, let's put on boots. Oh, it's sloppy outside. Let's put on boots. Let's put on. We need still what you saw with the decoraciones, but we're going to add on that little. Pongamos. Nos. Let's put on. Oh, let's put on. Ah, pongamonos las botas. Pongamonos. I know it should be pongamosnos, but look how much more mm -hmm. effort I look mm -hmm. how hear how it does not flow. Pongamosnos. That does not flow. That does not flow, folks. So we're going to take this ese and we're going to say bye bye ese. Pongamonos. Pongamonos mm -hmm. las botas. Let's put on boots. You need to and start with the Ponerse, you start with the ponerse. To ponerse, anytime the 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 we, uh, the we, let's do it commands are going to be really like the usted and ustedes commands. You start with yo, get rid of the o, swap to the opposite vowel. So pongo, get rid of the o at the end. And poner is an ER verb. We're going to use opposite vowel, opposite vowel. If that means an, instead of amos, amos, pongamos, pongamos. Okay. Bien. A ver. Bien. Um, <laughs> let's take, this one is harder, es más difícil. Vestirse. Vestirse. To get dressed. You want to say to people, hey, let's get dressed. Oh, time to go to services for Christmas or whatever, right? Uh, let's get dressed. Okay. This one is kind of hard. I'm going to help you a little bit with this. Visto, if we start with yo, oh. right? Oh. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But this one is doubly hard. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a prompt. Because we... We keep that E, it's an IR stem changers, which are the oddest, oddest, oddest care category. But we are going to use opposite vowel, opposite vowel. Bis. Biste. Bista. Bis, and you expect bistamos, but it does not flow to say bistamos nos. So we get rid of what little sound in the middle? Yes. Yes. Bistamos. Yeah. Uh, vistamonos, vistamonos. Let's get dressed. Okay. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Okay. Uh, ba, 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 ba. So how would you just tell your child get dressed? It's 
It's visto, you said. But if you tell your but kid, viste, so right? Vista. It's vista. Uh, tell you, you, okay. You tell your kids. So you talk to your kid using tu, of course, right? Yeah, vista, yeah. uh, and it's viste, viste te, viste te. But okay, we got to put an accent mark on it. Viste te. Get dressed. Put your clothes on. Right? Would there normally be an S in that one? I forget. On the two commands, they don't have an S. Right. Okay. So if you were looking at present tense, te vistes, right? Just a point. Yeah. It's a point of fact. You are getting dressed. Te vistes. Right. And normally, viste, it, we just do that to make it a command. But now I got to take this te. And I have to move it to the end because okay. I have to move it to the end because it's a command. So I have oh, to flop right. it on. I have to attach it to the end. A yes, go do it command. I tag that te onto the end. I have to. Viste te. Okay. Get dressed. Viste te. Pronto. Yeah. Rapido. Rapido. Viste te. Get dressed. Yeah. Viste te. Okay. Thanks. Um, okay. Oh, por ejemplo, oh, por ejemplo, an easier one to use than vestirse, uh, easier one to use is that ponerse, <laughs> right? Ponte los zapatos. Put on your shoes. But again, that's talking to a kid. Right? Ponte los zapatos, okay? So I want to try to keep it a little bit more to the uh, we, let's, the let's do something. Sure, let's go back. Yeah. Sorry. Kind of examples? No. Okay. Otherwise, it's all going to start to bungalow. Okay. Let's take ver, ver, right? And we're going to use it in the sense of watch. Ver una película. Uh, if you want to say, let's watch, we have to start with this bail as the point of departure first. We start with bail. We get rid of what letter? Oh, oh, I got this thing hanging there. And now I got to tag on a most kind of verb, but with an opposite vowel, a most kind of ending, but an opposite vowel. So it becomes. Veamos. Veamos. Veamos uh, una película. Let's watch a movie. Veamos una película. Let's watch a movie. Okay? Okay. All right. You want to start from ayudar, to help. A mamá. Let's help mom. I have to start as my starting point. Ayudo. I get rid of what letter? Oh, ayudemos. Oh. Ayudemos. Ayudemos. A mamá. Right? The a mamá doesn't change. It's not part of the verb structure. Ayudemos a mamá. Okay. Bien. Okay. Uh, uh, bien. Vale. You wanted to say help instead of mama help her. Ah, muy bien. Let's change it into her. Now I've got a her word. I've got a her word, and that'll be la. Mm -hmm. You will hear some people use it as le. That's also okay. I'm not going to get into the semantics of why. You may hear that. I'm just going to tell you, especially with this verb ayudar. You may hear it as la, you may hear it as le. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to say in your brain? Ah, doesn't matter. No importa, right? Some people you'll hear using la to say her. Some people you will hear using le to say her. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's use the la in this sense. Let's help her, a mama. Uh, now, uh, go do it. A yes command, you must attach. You must attach. Ayudemosla. 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 And we keep the S there. We keep ayudemosla. 
Yeah, that does not interfere. Ayudémosla. Ayudémosla. Let's help her. Mm -hmm. That just means let's help her. Buena pregunta, Charlie. Excelente. Ayudémosla. Ayudémosla. Ayudémosla ahora. Ok, bien. Ok, let's take, vamos a ver. Buscar, buscar. To look for. Bus, busquemos. Ah, busquemos. Mm, busquemos. Ok, let's think about this. We cannot spell it this way. You would think, well, wait a minute. I just put on an M. Now you did say it. Busquemos. Es importante. Think it's, this gets a spelling change. And notice when you said it, you just did opposite vowel. That's fine. When they write it, this can't happen. C-E can't happen there because that won't have buscar. It'll change it to busemos. Yeah, that doesn't work. So C-E becomes Q-U-E. Q -U -E. Now, that's important if you're writing. You don't care because you're speaking it. All right. But no, it'll have a spelling change when you see it written. Okay. Para que sepan, so that you know. Busquémonos. And the reason that Q-U-E happens is that we have to keep that ka, 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 ka. We need to keep that ka sound from the C. So to keep the k sound, I have to flip, <coughs> right? When it goes to C-E, it, it changes it to an S sound, a soft sound. So I have to get it to a co letter combination that goes back to the k sound. And the only way to do that in Spanish is to say Q-U with an E. <coughs> but you said it right. Es, es la única cosa importante. That's the only important, important thing. So, uh, busquemos las llaves. Mm -hmm. Let's look for the keys. Yeah, we lost our keys. Busquemos las llaves. Let's look for the keys. Okay. O, oh, por ejemplo, uh, busquemos el mejor precio. Let's look for the best. Price. Price. Okay. Así, like that. Okay, a ver. Um, okay, bien? Sí. We're good so far? Sí? Sí. sí. Okay. Slowly. Okay. Lentamente. Lentamente. Lentamente is normal. Now, now, interesting. I've gotten feedback from some people, and thank you always for your feedback. Um, you know what? We did a lot in the last three weeks about commands and different kinds of commands and look at what in a pandora's box that was yes mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. commands yeah. but remember okay so if right now your brain is like a scrabble board of lots of disassociate you know your scrabble tiles mm -hmm. that you've lined up of disassociated letters you're like oh my god <laughs> mm -hmm. okay no, you cannot, cannot put it back together. And it's you hard. cannot yeah, see. <laughs> and, and I cannot put it back together. Oh my God. Okay. No se preocupen. No se preocupen. It's a command. Don't you guys worry. No se preocupen. Don't sweat it. Here's why it's important to know you will hear people using commands, they will use them. So, Right now, what's important for you, we've done practice with how do I form the command, right? But when you hear it, right, mm -hmm. uh, that you're recognizing it, okay? Very, very often, because there are a lot of rules. So you may say, well, oh my gosh, we've been doing for this for like maybe four weeks straight. Shouldn't I be keeping this all straight? Well, maybe not. Maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. All right. Um, the important thing to know is when you hear these and it's like, wow, that vowel sounds off, you know, somebody is telling you go do something right now. The most important step for you is to recognize, oh, they're telling me, or they're telling somebody that group of people to do something. That's probably the important skill as you get used to it. And as you hear more things in movies, in videos, it will become more obvious. 
pero poco a poco, little by little. It will not all come at once. So don't force per perfection on yourselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do not force perfection, but do recognize. So it'll be important to recognize, oh, they're telling somebody to do something. They're not telling me somebody is a point of fact doing it. They're asking somebody to get something done. Make sense? See? Yeah, see. Yeah. Um, but, you know, as you work along with Duolingo or just listening to uh, uh, just plain old the listening comprehension videos, these things pop up and nobody's going to say to you ahead of time, warning, warning, I'm going to use a command. <laughs> nobody does oh. that. I'm going to use a command. No, no, nobody does that. They just do it and you'll have, your brain will have a stutter step. Mm -hmm. Your brain will have a stutter step, normal, normal, right? And so recognizing that, oh, they're telling somebody go do that, or they're telling somebody don't do that. That's the important step at this point. Okay, Bean? Yeah, I'm thinking listening to it, we don't get all hung up. Well, is that a, uh, you know, is it an E or an A that I should put in there to, you know, which which form of verb you can see? Okay, it's, it's a command. So good. Yeah. And here's the other per important thing for you guys to know. These commands that you've learned, they are married to the idea of using subjunctive. They just are. And you're going to hear subjunctive in a lot of little snippets, snippets, little hangnail pieces of conversation, right? And 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 that verb will sound weird. And it will be, why are they using that verb? They're using that verb because they're expressing a desire or a wish on somebody else. Mm. All right. Uh, so you leave a store. And to be polite, somebody just tosses off this hangnail. Que tengan buen día. Que tengan buen día. Tengan. Wow. Que tengan buen día. And you sort of have the idea that that might be tener, have. Tenga, uh, tener buen día. Have a good day. Uh, que tengan buen día. Que tengan buen día. And they're kind of, in a way, giving you a command. But what they're really saying is they're leaving off the idea of, I hope that. Uh, they're just saying, have a good day. But they're leaving off the, the introductory part of, I hope that you have a good day. You're on your way out the store. They have no clue if your day is going to go down, straight down the toilet. Or if it's going to be a great day, whether or not you have a great day is not a point of fact. It ain't happening, folks, <laughs> to misuse our English. It ain't happening yet. We don't know if you're going to have a good day or a lousy day or just in between a meh day. Okay. So because we don't know what's going to happen yet with your day, it becomes not really so much a command, but a wish. I hope that. And they just leave off the, the it, it is unsaid. The I wish part is unsaid. Que tengan buen día. But that tengan, that tengan hangnail comes from this. It is formed the same way as the command. So if you know how to do commands, you'll also know that, oh, this command form, it also is related to this idea of subjunctive. See? Uh, que... Tengan buen día, have a good day. Ah, que la pases bien, que la pases bien. Have a good time. Que le pases bien. I don't know if you're going to have a good time or if it's going to be a dud party. I don't know what's going to happen later in the evening. But I hope that I want you to have a good time. And we leave off the I want or the I hope part. Que la pases bien. Have a good time. So Marilyn, is that what si. the, 
Is that what subjunctive means then? Mm. Like you're hoping somebody has something? Subjunctive me, yeah, see. And the subjunctive is formed just like those usted and ustedes and nosotros things, exactly the same. Except subjunctive might have yo as a subject, it might have tu, it might have nosotros, it might have ellos. Okay, subjunctive is a mood. Uh, I won't get too much into the weeds. Subjunctive is a mood. And subjunctive means that activity either isn't really happening yet mm -hmm. or it's doubtful or flat out not true. It might be any of those scenarios. So whereas present tense, it's part of the mood that they call indicative. And present tense just means, oh, it's really happening. Mm -hmm. What would be a not true kind of example, though? Uh, like what truth? I know we said subjunctive could also include something that's not going to happen. Not ah, true. okay. Yeah. Buena pregunta. Uh, yeah, not true at all. Here's how it happens. Uh, hmm. If I want to say, I don't think he can swim. I, I don't think he can swim. He's too little. No creo. I don't think. And now the swim part, we're not so sure about. No puedo que él pueda. Not puede, but pueda. No creo que él pueda nadar. Hmm. No creo que él pueda. I don't think he's able to. No creo que él pueda nadar. That's the or, or, dudo que. So, no creo que, that little que word is really key. No creo que él pueda nadar. I don't think that he can swim. Dudo que él pueda nadar. I doubt that he can swim. If I inject doubt, that second half will be subjunctive. The I doubt is a usual, regular, vanilla flavor verb. Mm -hmm. Dudo, I doubt. No creo, I don't think. Okay. Okay. That, that I can understand, but when you say something like, have a good day. So you're not saying, I hope you, you're just saying, have a good day, but it's implied that you're saying, I hope you have some. It mm -hmm. is implied. And to just shorten our communication, mm -hmm. we the implication is just left unsaid. Okay. It's mm -hmm. just left unsaid. We, we assume you figured that out. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, it's perfectly grammar uh, wise. OK, to say, espero que, espero que tengas buen día. I hope you have a good day. Quiero que tengas buen día. Ah, I want you to have a good day. It, it's it's fine. Uh -huh. But people, because you're leaving in a hurry, they just, it's implied. Oh, you know that I wish that for you. So I just, uh -huh. I just won't say that part. Uh -huh. Why bother? You can figure that out. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's one of those. Yeah. Ah, que tengas buen día. Que... When you said Kayla passes... Was it buen or bien? Bien. B -I -N. Que la pases bien. That you, that you pass it well. And it has nothing to do with a kidney stone. Okay. That you pass it well. <laughs> that you pass it well. Yeah, pasar to pass. Wow, it sounds like pass. Yes. But we but use pasar in day, a lot of contact. We use it to for come in. Pasa. Come on in. Yeah. Uh, if you step into a store, uh, uh, you know, like how you like you're passing, but there are, <clears throat> there are three people standing in front of the door and everybody's kind of, yeah, you're kind of like who goes first, right, to fit through the door, right? And somebody stands aside, opens the door for you and says, ah, passe, passe, pass, please, come on in. Okay. Right? Okay. Th that's a command. Passe, por favor, come on in. Or you go ahead in first, right? Yeah. I got three people. We're all not going to fit in that doorway. Ah, 
pase por favor. Oh, you go ahead. You go ahead. Pase por favor. Or somebody greets you at the door and they say, come on in. Ah, pasa por favor. Pasa por favor to a friend. But to customers you don't know, pase por favor to one person. Pasen por favor. Come on in, you people. That's a command. That's a command, right? But pasar is used in a lot of contexts. So it might be used pasar to say, come on in. Pasen por favor. Come on in, people. Pasa por favor. Hey, you one person that I know, come on in. You're a friend. Or a customer I don't know, but there's only one customer at the door. Pase por favor. Come on in. But pasar is used in a lot of other contexts. And one is enjoy yourself. Spend mm -hmm. that time in a pleasant way. So, okay. So, K, that you may. And I am implying the I hope that. I am implying, but not saying, I hope that. Que la pases bien. Que la pases bien. Have a good time. To your kid. If your kid and his or her significant other are leaving the door together, que la pasen bien. Que la pasen bien. Have a good time, you two. Que la pasen bien. Why would it right? be la? It seems like tiempo. Uh, ah. Ah, ah, let me show you a snippet. And the short, the short part of this is that it's lo or la tiempo. doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. You might mm -hmm. hear it as lo, you might oh. hear it as la, but it's okay. uh, uh, yeah, um, so let me show you this because this is the characteristic thing. This is one of those videos I'm like, don't say these things because these are really like big boo boos. <laughs> it's not rude. This one is not a rude boo 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 boo. It's a, the kind of boo boo, the kind of mistake that people be like, what did you just say? I don't understand what you said. If people want to say, Tuve un buen tiempo. I had a good I time. That. Oh, whoops. Hablando de una situación o una cosa específica. I didn't realize that. We got to pass through this. No me di cuenta de eso. No me di cuenta de Hang eso. Hang on, it's coming up. ¿Cómo dirías? I had. I had a good time. Now here it's not a command, but I had a good time. And your English brain wants to say have, tener, tener, tener. So here's the mistake. A good time. I had a good time. Tuve un buen tiempo. No, no, no. That is confusing to a Spanish speaker. They don't know what the heck you mean by that. That is very confusing because they don't use tener with good time at all. Eso ever. es lo que dicen <laughs> casi todos, pero no. No se dice tuve. Now, un... a native Spanish speaker who teaches Spanish like her will understand, oh, you speak English. That's why you said that. But yeah. That doesn't make any sense to a Spanish speaker. Buen tiempo. Se dice, la pasé bien. And now they put it in past here instead of a command. So just know that pasé, punching that end, it puts it in yo, in the past. La pasé bien. And yes, it is bien, not buen, not bueno. <laughs> uh, because this word is talking about the action of pasé. And when a word talks about an action, it's an adverb. And the adverb for that is well, bien. Oh. So it has to be bien because it's talking about the activity, the action of passé. That's why. We cannot use bueno to talk about actions, okay? We can't say manejo bueno, I drive good. Mm. Manejo bien, I drive well. Okay. Mm. Cocino bueno. I cook good. No. Uh, cocino bien. All right. Bien. Bien gets along nicely with actions. <laughs> and here it's getting along with an action. La pasé bien. So she's going to explain the lore of the la. La pasé bien. O también podemos decir lo pasé bien. Si alguien te pregunta, ¿cómo te fue en la fiesta? How to go Lo at the party. Bien. I had a good time. Lo pasé bien. O Both are right. Para poner más énfasis, la pasé muy bien. Lo pasé muy bien. En Colombia decimos la, 
pero en México, creo, y en otros países dicen lo, no importa cuál. Ah, whether you use lo or la is a no big deal. Whether you use lo or la is a no big deal. Uh, yeah, it's a regional thing. Everybody understands what you mean. No confusion. Huge confusion. Tuve, tuve un buen tiempo. That's super confusing. They don't know what the heck you mean, right? But uh, uh, so let's put it into the subjunctive thing. Uh, que, que, que la pases bien. We can switch the la to a lo. No big deal. Que lo pases bien. Have a good time. It's a regional thing, whether you use lo or la, it doesn't matter, right? But the pas es que, que lo pases bien. Okay, bien. So, um, okay, aquí. Gracias. Imperativo, commands, our mood. There, it's related to subjunctive in that the verbs we use with subjunctive or commands are the exact same verbs. So they all look like that usted and ustedes category of start with yo, flip to the opposite vowel. And you you will often hear it as that hangnail of the K. Mm -hmm. All right. You will often hear it in that way. Um, and, and just know they're using subjunctive on you. That's what they're doing. And the reason that is hard for us to think about is that we have a teeny tiny to non-existent form of subjunctive in English. English does not, um, it technically has a subjunctive, but uh, we do different things to express that in English. So, okay, bien. Uh, bueno, hay más preguntas. More questions on that? Sí o no? No? Just be aware. You're going to hear these things bleed in. You know, uh, 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 people are never going to warn you ahead of time. Ooh, we got this coming up. Uh, you know, they're just going to say something. Okay. Um, I want to leave about maybe five minutes at the end of class to talk about things you can do during our hiatus time. But right now I want to do some guessing game stuff. Some guessing game stuff. See? Okay. Uh, I want to make sure I need to leave a nice big block of time. I'm going to start with a person. See? Uh, you want to think strategically about your questions. ¿Es una persona real o es Una persona de ficción. So you guys need to ask me a question first. I'm going to be the starter for this. And then narrow it down to male and female, and then we'll get down from there. Okay. Bien. Mm -hmm. La primera pregunta. First question for me. Uh, ¿Es una persona real? <laughs> sí, Char sí, Charlie. Sí, es una persona real. Sí. ¿Es mujer o hombre? Es hombre. Mm. Es un hombre famoso. Mm. Es un hombre famoso. Mm. ¿Él oh. vive en los Estados Unidos? No vive en Estados Unidos, no. Mm. Mm. Uh, no es... vive en Estados Unidos. ¿Europeo? ¿Eres europeo? Uh, sí, sí. Es de origen europeo. Exacto. El vivo. ¿Está vivo? ¿Está vivo? ¿Está vivo? ¿Alive? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí, está vivo. ¿Es un hombre jugador de fútbol? No, no, eh, no, no es jugador de fútbol, no. ¿Es, es político? Es político, sí. Oh. Es político. Presidente. Es de Francia. Es de the, Francia. Uh, uh -huh. No es de Francia. No. Es el rey de Inglaterra. 
No, no es el rey de Inglaterra, no. ¿Es el presidente? Es, es un presidente, sí. <risa> es presidente. ¿Es Zelensky? ¡Ah! Muy bien, sí. Oh. ¡Es Zelensky, sí! Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien, sí. Es Zelensky, es Zelensky. Oh. It's man of the year, sí, de, de la revista Time. Es el hombre del año, es el hombre más importante, uh, el hombre con más influencia del año 2022. Okay. <coughs> Who wants to start? Who's got a person to start off with this today? I do. Can, can, can. Bueno, I Karen, do. dinos okay. algo. Okay. ¿Su nombre, Karen? Sí. Es hombre. ¿Está vivo o está muerto? O vivo. 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 Okay. ¿Es hombre real? ¿Real o de ficción? Oh, real. ¿Eres americano? Sí. Mm -hmm. mm. ¿Es un actor? No. ¿El es... hombre tiene más de 50 años? Uh, tiene mm. más de 50 años. Yeah. 50 años. Um, sí. Mm. <laughs> Are we saying, es to, to tell me again what that is, what that is. Is that how many years? How More old? than 50, 50 years. years old. More than 50 years old. Tiene más de 50 años. Is he mm. older than 50? Mm. Más oh. o menos. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I'm ah, thinking no está. he may be just. He's mm. a, ooh, bueno. Ah, como se dice, he's about 50. Tiene unos. 50 años. Uno, Tiene 50 años. unos okay. 50 años. Ok. Unos. Mm. Unos. Some years. Oh. Some. Yeah, he's some 50 years old. 50 yeah. something. Yeah. 50 mm. something. <laughs> unos 50 años. Ok. Mm. ¿Es Hector? ¿Es Hector? No. 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 No es actor. No. no. Es político. No. Hmm. Es autor? Uh, how do you say author? Uh, autor. No. Autor. Autor. No. Autor. No. Es, es, es deportista. Sí. Es atleta. Uh, es atleta. Mm. Uh. Deporte. Fútbol mm. americano. Sí. Sí. Is it American? Okay. Brady. 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 No. No. Brady. 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 No. No. Mm. Uy, uy. Vivo in Arizona? Say it again. Uh, vivo in Arizona? Vive. Vive in Arizona? Vive in Arizona? Vive in Arizona? No. No, no vive en Arizona. Mm, sorry. ¿Vive en California? No. Mm -hmm. uh, ¿Está uh, uh, Brett Favre? No. <laughs> ¿Juga fútbol? No. Mm. ¿No fútbol? No. ¿Golf? ¿Dónde vive él? ¿Dónde vive? No. no golf, no. No golf, ok. They, um, ¿Baseball? No. Okay. Uh, jugar tenis? <laughs> no. <laughs> ¿Dónde vive él? ¿Dónde vive? Uh, okay. ¿Dónde oh, vive? En the United States. En oh, Estados Unidos. Mm. That's all she's given us. Juega <laughs> 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 mm. uh, en... El equipo. 
Ah. Juega en el juega, juega en un What's grupo. En el grupo, no. Does he play on a team? Ah, es, es un deporte individual. Ah. Sí. Uh, mm. importante. Deporte mm. individual. Tenis. Uy. Tenis. No. No, no es de tenis. Wow. Y... Corre. El Corre. De maratons. Or de. Uh, swimmer. Sí. Uh, nedar. Nedar. Mm. Oh. Sí. Ah, ah bien. He lives in Arizona, ¿no? Sí. Who is no sé. Vive en Arizona. Sí, I don't sí know. de verdad. He has a house in Paradise Valley. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who was it? Oh, in Paradise Valley. Phelps. My, Michael Phelps. Michael oh. Phelps. And he's worked for 50 years old. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know how old he is. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> about 30, I was thinking about that since the beginning. I was like, but not living in Arizona. So uh, I'm sorry. Okay. No. It's all right. Creo que tiene como 30 años, no? 30, 28, algo así. 30, 32, 32 años, algo así. Yeah. Ok, ok. Bien. Más o Bien. menos. Bueno, gracias, gracias, gracias. Ok. ¿Quién? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Who else? <laughs> ¿Quién más? Okay, okay, bueno, Carrie, dinos. Uh, 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 no, 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 no nos digas nada. Don't tell us anything. Okay, <laughs> ¿es una persona real o una persona de ficción, Carrie? Una persona real. Okay. ¿Un hombre o mujer? Mujer. 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 Yeah, es mujer. Mm. ¿Americano? Yeah. Sí. Es norteamericana. Okay. Es actriz. Sí. Es actriz. Sí. Así. Ah, sí. Actriz. Es actriz. Es actriz. Es actriz. Uh. Tiene más de 30 años. A veces, a veces, uh, actriz. Sometimes an actress. Oh. Oh, okay. Ooh. As J-Lo. Part-time <laughs> actress. Mm. <laughs> es, es, es cantante. Es cantante. La, 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 la. Es cantante. Oh, ah. Mm. Es una mujer norteamericana que es cantante, a veces actriz. Mm. No es J-Lo. En <laughs> Celine Dion? Mm. No, no she's not an actress. actress. Uh. Yeah. Tiene el pelo rubio? Um, sí. <laughs> oh. Pero mm -hmm. no es rubia natural, me imagino. Natural. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, oh. Mm. Sure. Tiene más que 30 años. Sí. Mm. Más que 50 años. Sí. Ah. Uh. Ok. Uh. Y es cantante. Oh, uh. <laughs> um, Barbara Streisand. Sí. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Excelente. Bullseye, <laughs> Charlie. Recorda Nuevo. A plat no, Disco Plato Nuevo. Okay. Sí. Ah, bien, bien, bien. Sí, sí, a veces es actriz, pero principalmente cuando ella empezó su carrera, empezó como cantante. Sí, yeah. bien. Ok, excelente. Oh, ok, muy bien. Bien hecho, bien hecho. Uh, a ver, bueno, otra persona. ¿Quién, quién, quién? Who wants to contribute? ¿Quién quiere contribuir? I'll go, I'll go Marilyn. Uh, okay, fantástico. Good. Bueno, Charlie. Ok. Sí. Ok, Charlie es una persona de ficción o una persona en la vida real? Una persona ficción. De ficción. Oh. Uh. ¿Para niños o para adultos? Para adultos. 
para mm. adultos. Es, es, es human, human, <laughs> humano. Humano. Es humano. Es humano como animal. Oh, uh, sí, humano. Humano. Mm. Oh, bueno. Okay. Perfecto. Bueno, Charlie, ¿en las películas? ¿En las películas? Así. También es, es personaje en, en novelas. Sí. Uh -huh. Es persona Jack Ryan. No. ¿Es no. Detectivo? Detectivo. Detective, sí. Ah. Um, oh. No, no, no. Uh, no? Es James Bond? Acción. Sí. Ah. Oh, James Bond? Muy bien. Oh. Oh. Ok. Ok. Bien. Sí, también en libros, originalmente un personaje. Sí, personaje quiere decir character. Personaje. Personaje originalmente de novelas pero ahora es más famoso en las películas, en el cine. Excelente, muy bien hecho, bien hecho. Ok, bueno, ¿quién más? Who else has somebody? I'll go. Ok, bueno, yes. Liza, bien. Liza, ¿es una persona de la vida real o al, alguien de la ficción? De la ficción. Ficción. Oh, okay. uh, ¿Eres un hombre? Uh, Particular, you say? Es, es hombre. Oh, es hombre. Um, no, no, no es hombre. Es una mujer. Ah. Uh, no, 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 ficción. ficción. Es animal. Es animal. Sí, animal. 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 En las películas? No, 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 no. Uh, oh. no. Uh, ¿En los libros? Como, Um, no. Serious, serious. Serie. En una serie. En una serie de de la televisión. No, no, no televisión. En el diario. Come on, I mean, uh, <laughs> en el di en, en 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 el periódico newspaper. Sí. ¿Sí? Oh. Ah. Oh, de, oh, de las tiras cómicas. Cómicas, yeah. Ah. Es perro. Es es perro. Es es un perro. Es un perro. No. Es un gato. Gato. Eh. Gato. Oh, oh, gato. 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 Oh, cat. Oh, cat. Oh, cat. Muy bien. Yeah. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. <risa> excelente, excelente. Ok. Uh, otra persona. ¿Quién, quién, quién, quién? Who? I can try that. Ah, oh, bien. Juanita, ¿es una persona de ficción o de la vida real? La vida real. Ah, bien. Okay. Es un hombre. Hombre. Tres hombres. Oh, ¿Tres? Tres, tres hombres. Tres hombres. Sí. Uh, the three musketeers. Oh, sí. <laughs> <laughs> musqueteros. <laughs> Los tres musqueteros. Ah, uh, oh. oh, the three stooges. The three stooges. Yeah. I was thinking. You got it right away. Yeah, the three stooges. Yeah. 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 Es el favorito de mi esposo. Ah, oh. oh. son tontas. Ah, estúpido. Oh. <laughs> Pero muy populares. Sí. Sí, eran, eran, eran uh, personajes muy populares, mm. especialmente, sí, con, <ríe> con los hombres especialmente, creo. Mm. Uh, sí, ah, interesante. Creo que, creo que son personas que son personajes famosos o populares con los hombres, pero quizás... Yo podría decir, uh, no creo que los 
Three Stooges, los, sí, los tres, uh, no creo que sean muy populares con las mujeres. No creo que sean muy populares con las mujeres. Ok, bien. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Who else? Oh, ok. Eh, ¿Es de uh, una persona real o de ficción? ¿De mí going now? Or... Yeah, you can. I, okay. I guess if, you can. Es uh, real. Yeah. Es mujer. Sí. No, 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 sorry. No, es hombre. <laughs> No, <laughs> es hombre. Ok. <laughs> ok. Used to be mujer. Es posible, es posible. Es hombre. Es hombre. Ok. ¿Eres americano? Sorry. ¿Americano? ¿Americano? ¿Norteamericano? Sí. ¿Estados Unidos? Sí. Político? No. No, no Hector? ¿Es Hector? No. No. ¿Cantor? ¿Es el cantante? No. ¿Es deporte? Sí. De ah, es deportista. Ah, okay. ¿Es jugador de béisbol? No. no. Uh, tenis. No, no tennis. Mm -hmm. Football? Americana football? Sí. Oh. Football americano. Enough. Mm -hmm. Sí. Football americano. Un equipo de Arizona? No. No. Mm. Es futbolista sí. profesional o de la universidad? Profesional. Perfect. Well, Both yeah. at some time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. In Georgia. Ah. Yes. 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 No. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it Yes. 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 No. No. Yes. 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 No. 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 Un equipo quarterback. If I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> ah, no ah. sé. Okay. No lo sé. No lo sé. Un equipo en California. No. Yeah. Ooh. Mi vecino uh, juega por the Bears. Trevor <laughs> Simeon. No. No. Wow. In Colorado? No. No, no. Wow. ¿El vive en Arizona? No. No, no. Mm -hmm. Is it in uh, Maryland? Baltimore, Maryland? No. Es, no. bueno, es, es, es un jugador actual, current. No. Oh. Ah. John Elway? John Elway? No. I just... I was es, trying to look at the shirt. Es, es Montana? Es Montana? You mean, wow. you mean Joe Montana? Yeah. Sí. No. Ay. ¿Cuál equipo? <laughs> ah, el equipo es clave. Uh, key. Uh, es muy clave. Sí, muy importante el equipo. Es un equipo uh, del norte de los Estados Unidos. Sí. Es de la ciudad de Nueva York. Sí. Oh. Se oh. llama Elway. ¿Es el apellido Elway? John Elway. 
Cowboy didn't play in New York. Oh, no. No, he's not. Uh, no, uh, Neiman. Um, Joe Neiman. Joe Neiman. Joe Neiman. Joe Neiman. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> oh. You got a bunch of women here, Mark. See, si. <laughs> couldn't get it. S, S uh, Drew B. <laughs> no, one of you, one of you said Joe Namath. He said he got oh. it. Oh, Joe Namath. Oh, oh. oh. okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's wow. he's from Pennsylvania, Beaver Falls, isn't he? Yeah. He, um, he was born in, in Beaver he, Falls, Beaver Falls. Yeah. Yeah. yeah See. Si. And. Uh, Went to college in Alabama. In Alabama. Ah, nació en el norte, estudió en el sur y jugó con los Jets, ¿no? Sí. Jugó ah. o jugaba, jugaba uh, con los Jets. Uh, ok, excelente, excelente. Sounds like you know a lot, Marilyn. I, mm, un poquito, un poquito, un poquito. No tanto con los deportes. Okay. Bien, bien, bien. ¿Quién más? Who else? ¿Quién tiene alguien? Who has somebody to share? I'll go. Sí, ok. Bueno, Tomás. Fantástico, fantástico. Tomás es una persona de ficción o alguien sí de la vida real? Uh, real. Este hombre, hombre. Sí. Es un ahora o muerte. Está muerto. So I got asked is the American and the answer to that one is yes and then Nora what was sí. can you ask her again oh. please? Si muerte o vive. Es, está vive. muerto o es, está este. muerto. Okay. What, what, was the, what was the answer to that? He's alive. Vive. Sí, está vivo. He's alive. Está vivo. Está, está vivo. vivo. Está vivo. He's alive. Ah, bien. ¿Es político? No, es político. ¿Es deportista? ¿Juega a deportes? Athlete. ¿Es atleta? Um, no, 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 no es deportes. No, okay. No es atleta. No es atleta. He's not an athlete. No es, es actor. No es atleta. Es, es un actor? actor. Es un actor. No es actor. No. Okay, does that coding from America? Or an actor? No. No, 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 no es no. actor. No es actor. Es un hombre de negocios, mm -hmm. como IBM o. Twitter, ¿es un hombre de negocios? Sí. Mm. Ah. Ah. Bill Gates. Elon Musk. No es, no es Bill Gates. Bien. Es Elon Musk. No es Elon. Ah. Es, es americano. Sí. ¿Es en computadoras? Es no es computadoras. No, oh, no trabaja no. con las computadoras. Ok. No hace un producto para las computadoras. No hace un producto de computadoras. No, no hace... Say, no hace... Productos de... Produce com computadoras. Ok. ¿Es trabajo es, a Disney? Trabaja, trabajo es... A Disney? Sí. Mm. Doesn't work. For no. Vive en Nebraska. Sí. Sí. Oh. Warren Buffington. Ah. Oh. Buffett. Warren Buffett. Buffett. Yeah, Buffett. Sí. Ah, bien. Uh -huh. well, I don't know. Bien, right, bien, bien. Cindy. El estado <laughs> sí es importante. Muy bien. Ok. Vale, bueno. Uh, a ver. Uh, entonces, alguien más. Somebody else. I'll try. Ok, bien. Okay. Pat, ¿es una persona de la vida real o es una persona de ficción? Estaba una persona real, pero ahora es ficción. Oh. Oh. ¡Oh! Y no está vivo. No está vivo. ¡Ah! ¡Oh! oh. oh. Not living. ¡Oh! 
You stumped us, Pat. Yeah. Es, es, bueno, 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 Pat. Es una persona de la historia. Sí. Es una persona de la historia de Estados Unidos. No. Oh. Oh. Originalmente en Europa, pero ahora está todo el mundo. Wow. Uh. Es mujer. No, es un hombre. Es un hombre. Es religious, religioso. Mm. No, no es religioso. No es religioso. Mm. Okay. I was thinking Santa Claus. <laughs> a good one. Yeah. No es Santa Claus. <laughs> no es Santa Claus. Ah, bien. Mm. Mm. Es político. Es político. Era político. Es es un personaje de de acción, de aventura. No. Es hombre en las películas. Sí. Pero. Es en películas. Niño o hombre. Adulto. Adulto o niño. Ah, adulto o joven. Adulto o joven. Uh, adulto. Oh, adulto. Nice. Okay. Is actor? Sí. Perdón. Es actor. Um, es un personaje, a character. De no. un libro, principalmente de la literatura, de, de los libros. Sí. sí. Oh, ah. Es, um, escribe, escribe um, los li libros. Um, Does he write books? No. And no, 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 I'm an author. Mm -hmm. No. Sherlock no. Holmes? No. Es un hombre como Don Quixote? <laughs> oh. Um, oh no es Don Quijote, pero similar, similar, similarmente. Sim, es similar, es, es parecido. Similar. Ah, Hay una persona real, pero es en historia. Um, ah, was it, yeah. escribiendo, o fue written. Uh, mm. About esta persona. Entonces, Inglaterra. Él vive en Inglaterra. Um, no. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. En China. Mm. Perdón. Vivo en China. No, no vivo, vivo en oh, China. China. Oh, yeah. Vivo en francés? No, no pero es un uh, país en Europa. Ah. Vivo wow. en España? No, no, no en Europa. Europa. Dracula. Sí. Oh, ah, no. qué sorpresa! Oh, wow! This is not French. It's not French. It's not no. English, but it's <laughs> Europe. So, it's but it's in a history. <laughs> so, what is it? I mean, it's a Transylvania. Sí. Yeah. Wow. Muy. Sí. Very Está basado en Vlad Ellen Paler, no? De algo así. Sí. De hace <laughs> muchos muchos años. Good wow. one, Pat. Good one. Qué interesante. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Muy difícil. Bien yeah. hecho. Bien hecho. Well done. The last uh, one, but the best one. Uh, ah, yeah. sí. <laughs> es así. <laughs> Okay. Uh, does somebody else have one they want to do, Bernie? I think we're Bernie desire to do one. We, uh, I, I, 
hay tiempo. There is time to fit one more person in if you got one. Si tiene, hay, hay alguien. Anybody else who's got one? Si o no? No. No? Okay. I was okay. going to Marilyn, Marilyn, if you don't mind, I just wanted to do this like the, uh, oh, sorry, Nora. No, no. no I'm good. Uh, the, uh, the quiz, you know, I, I think I still have some of the uh, the stuff that I'm still having a hard time getting it right. Which quiz? Do you mean from that little web page that we did? Yeah. yeah. Ah, vamos a ver. Okay. Sí, 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 sí. Uh, voy a poner... I mean, if we have time, if we have time. Sí, sí, sí. Hay tiempo, sí. This one here, este, this one? Yeah. Oh, sí. Sí. Uh, sí. No, it's not that one. No, uh, no, it's this. Which one is this? The common, com command review, I think it's like. Yeah, oh, see, sí. hmm, this one was command. command. Ooh. The other one. Is? From the nosotros the page? One? From the nosotros page or from the. What did I do the wrong one? I think yeah. these are the only two I gave yeah. you because we did the top <clears throat> and I told everybody take a look at the bottom. No. No, yeah, not that it's one. Not, it's, no, I guess I, I took the wrong one. And not that one. Mm, a ver, let me go back a minute. And I, I don't know if I it, I clicked the wrong one. Is it like the studiespanish.com? Oh. Mm -mm. Hmm. A ver. Let me try to figure out. If you've got a Let's link. Let's see. I, uh, did I see if you've got the a wrong link. one? If Let you've got look. a link that you can plug into the chat box uh, and you can do a cut and paste, that will help me get to the right page. Marilyn, is this it? Ah, okay. Gracias, Charlie. Mm. We'll see if this one is it. Okay. Charlie helpfully sent me a link. Is it this one? Which one? Uh, just a minute. Let me look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sí, okay. Vale. ¿Cuál? Okay. What? Which one is it? Or, or, or uh, any of them? Yeah, it's like a, this one, like a um, number three, like go with her. I, I thought ah, like it's a, a they, they. We need a new step in that we need not a they, but a you guys. Yeah. Okay. It'll so, be like the same as um, saying a they form. Right. Ah, ir es it's difícil. Like a, this one is hard for ben, ustedes. I said ben. Well, it can't be ban. Ir is part of that dishes. Yeah, it's like Look, they. regulars. So yeah. for ustedes, it's bayan. Oh. Bayan. Oh. Right? Ir mm -hmm. is very irregular in a lot of these. So go for tu is be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go for tu, but don't go, because remember, tu, go do it, is very different from tu, don't do it. So, be, go, but no vayas, no vayas, don't go. Usted vaya, ustedes vayan, mm -hmm. right? And oddly, Oddly, let's not go is no vayamos, let's mm -hmm. not, fíjense, notice, let's not is no vayamos, but if we just say let's go, it's just plain old vamos, for we, let's go, in the yes sense, vamos. So ir is one of the hardest verbs to do with mm -hmm. commands. Be, mm -hmm. no vayas, vaya with usted, vayan with ustedes, right? Vamos for let's go. Oh, let's not go. No vayamos. Muy difícil. Really, really hard. hard. It is yeah, very, very yeah. tricky. Very, very hard. So mm -hmm. with the prompt they gave you here, we've got ustedes. Vayan okay. ustedes con ella. Go with her. Okay. Okay. And also uh, have the, the C part. It's also the I'm C part. A hard time. 
Ah, bring it to me. Ooh, muy difícil. Okay, so let's take a look here. We've got bring it to me. We need a to command. It's a yes, go do it. That means we just take the to form like present tense, cut off the S. So yeah. it becomes. I got it. I got it. And, but now we need to add on. Uh, I think they want a command, right? Uh, or I think they want a pronoun. And so we want a pronoun to stand in for comida. Uh, okay. Do not include. Oh, wait. Do not include the subject pronoun. Oh, the subject pronoun. Okay. Sorry. Use the information to translate the following sentences. Bring it to me. They do want an it. The it needs to be, we need to turn the, the word comida into it. So it's la. 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 Oh, and now we need a to me. 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 And now we need, sadly, a little <laughs> accent mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a little accent mark because oh, because I tagged on two separate syllables. Why I did that? That's the right answer. I did that first, but then they said it's wrong. I don't know why. Mm, it is tráemela. Did, uh, did, did you click the accent because it will mark it wrong yeah, with the accent? Have. I think it I did that too. I used the uh, yeah. yeah, I used the um the the you know the accent as well but i don't Traimela. know why it's wrong that is correct Traimela. bring it to me for two yeah bring it to me the to me is the me the it is la Traimela. Mm. I, it's yeah. it's wrong if it says that's wrong it, that is correct okay. Traimela. Traimela. uh don't mm. bring them to him to him, okay. Uh, okay, right. We need a lay, but okay, we need a, a, a him and then we need a las, right? Las, or yes. plumas. We but something plumas. funny happens here. They. You can't, yeah, we can't lay la, lay low, yeah, we can't la. lay low, we can't lay low. So, mm -hmm. this thing, which normally would be lay, has to become yeah. say. say. So, mm -hmm. No se las, and now we need traer for tu, but it's a negative tu. It's not trae, it's traigas. Traiga. Traiga. No se las oh. traigas. Traigas. No se las traigas. The se is the to him, the las is them, yeah. meaning plumas, right? No se las traigas. No se las traigas. I put it in the wrong order. Ah, there you go. No se las traigas. So I cannot attach the se las because it's a negative, don't do it command. Okay. Right. right? So they have to come up front and the human being first, the se, mm. the thing, the object, less next. Okay, Make so sense? See? That's my mistake there. I didn't do it se first. Mm. Okay. Because this is yeah. Okay. Eso es. Open mm -hmm. them. We need an ustedes command. Open them. We need an ustedes command for abrir. Abren. Uh, well, it can't be abren because that's not opposite vowel. We need opposite abren. vowel. Abren. Abran. 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 So, okay. We can say, watch out because our schwa sound the uh <laughs> bleeds over a lot yeah and we need to make sure it's a cle clear clear a or a ah sound one or the other and it needs to be an a ah. we're going with opposite vowel ir verb abrir it becomes abran las. Abran. abran yeah abran las abran las and now i need a little accent mark here because i just do because i've tagged on another syllable okay and put them here poner usted mm -hmm. it's a ponga ponga los ponga uh ponga, po oh, ponga. yeah ponga los uh ponga los oh i need to get my accent mark thing in here i don't like the device they have 
Póngalos, ¿ok? ¿Vale? Uh, don't put them here. Don't put them here. No. No sé. Los. No. no. Now this one's hard. See, ¿Sí? poner tú. Poner no, tú, and it's a negative tú. Mm -hmm. So it's going to sound like ponga, pongas. but it's got to be a tú. Yeah, pongas. Pongas. Mm -hmm. No las pongas aquí. They gave us the aquí. No los pongas aquí. No los pongas aquí. Bien? Oh, okay. Ah, and this was the hardest step because this of forced course. you to put everything in the place. Right. And it might have even graded you wrong if you didn't capitalize the T or some funky thing mm. like that mm -hmm. with this first yeah. one. Right. I'm just thinking out loud. Sometimes even with... Uh, um, Punctuation mm -hmm. machines get very, very picky. Bien, okay. Mm -hmm. Muchas gracias. De nada, de nada. Okay, uh, I'm going to tell you very quickly uh, because I'm going over and some people may have to leave to do actual work. Uh, uh, I'm going to be sending you some suggestions because somebody, uh, more than one person in almost all my classes has said, oh, we've got all these weeks off uh, till, till January. What can I do in between? Uh, I'm going to be sending you suggestions. Uh, one is a three-hour block of videos <laughs> but here's what it is that's it when you uh, <laughs> uh and it goes to very basic stuff if you want very basic stuff just review very basic stuff this three hour block will give you loads of listening fun, but it will break it down into categories. So when you look at it on YouTube, you're probably going to want to look at the little segment line at the bottom, because each time you see a break, it goes to a new topic. So the three hour is not a continuous all about the same thing, or it's not a three hour continuous story. It's a linking together of a bunch of, let's say, eight to 10 minute videos. So one segment will be on travel. One segment will be on shopping. One segment will be on, on uh, ordering food. It's a bunch of little topics linked together, but they're very basic, very basic. So if you feel like I just need basic stuff about restaurant shopping, uh, uh, greetings, it even goes to that basic as greetings. I'll give you the link. This will be the big mama three hour thing. Okay. Uh, okay. The the <laughs> other suggestions are going to be if you feel like, nah, I got some of that basic stuff down. I want to be a little more adventurous. Um, there are some podcasts, some newer ones uh, that I have come across. Some are specifically storytelling. Some are more news oriented. That'll give you like a, a five to 10 minute news broadcast and they'll recycle. They'll be new every day through CNN and they won't be super, super fast. They will maybe feel fast for you, but if you want to challenge mm. yourself a little, yeah, um, with something current, um, those little uh, news podcasts will be actually uh, helpful and useful things to check out. So I'll give you some links for all those things. Está bien? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Then I, what un placer. It was a real pleasure working with all of you. If you uh, uh, choose and have time to come back in January, many of those, I welcome you all to do that. Make sure you sign up if you want to do that. Um, uh, and uh, all those classes with Scottsdale are still open for sign up right? Uh, unless they, they uh, fill in. So some of those classes do fill up and fill in. So make sure that you're aware of that. Eso es todo. Okay. Bien. Bien. Muchísimas gracias. Felices vacaciones. Felices Navidad. Y que la pasen bien. Que la pasen bien. Have a good time. Que la pasen bien. A todos que la pasen bien. Gracias, tú también. Excelente. 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 Nos vemos, nos vemos.